it is the lieutenant here um and this is my tutorial on how to draw a baby spirit this is take three because i haven't drawn him in ages and he's been looking like everything under the sun apart from baby spirits so let's try this one more time third time lucky let's see if i can do this so first of all you're going to start by drawing a circle and it makes sense since this is a drawing tutorial that you need a pencil yes and then underneath that circle, or just about joined onto it, you can draw another circle, apart from, but it's half the size-ish of a bigger circle. And this is his head. And then down from that, you're going to come down and draw like some triangle. This will be his neck. And you're going to draw here, triangle one, and triangle two. And that will be his chest. Obviously it won't be this pointy, because that just looks weird. And we'll do that when we we'll sort that out when we get to it. And you're going to draw his other neck and little crease that he has in his skin. Because he's only a baby and he's all tubby. And it's sort of like his weird eye shape here if you like. And you're going to break down. And this will make his body. This is where a leg should go, so you probably want to put a little bump underneath that to represent a leg. And now here will be shoulder, elbow, wrist. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but to a human. This is how James Baxter taught it. Shoulder, elbow, wrist. And then his knee is like his little finger bit, if you like. Now this is going to be a lying down baby spirit, so his hooves are going to be all over the gaff, because he's all flimsy. There we go, that makes sense. Right. Tail. Right. So that is the outline to spirit. You can pause now and look at it if you like, because now I'm moving on to the next stage. Now you go over it. You go over the top bit of this circle, slightly harder. And then draw two little bumps on the side of it. And then after that, you'll bring it down a little bit, only a little way, to about where this circle becomes tangent, if you like, to this one. Then you do little corners of his mouth. And then he's, he's got a nice big smile, so his bottom jaw is going to be quite low down. And that'll be his mouth. And then in this little nook, you're going to sprout out a little his face really his cute little baby face and that would be like I just need to sort this out right, that looks strange, I'll sort that out later right and then on um, over here you're just going to draw his little eyebrows and that'll be where his eyebrows will be and you can just make him a little bit thicker because he has quite thick eyebrows and that is a car passing by. They tend to do that. Now let's see if I can get his eyes the right size this time. The trouble I have with Spirit is getting his eyes the right size. So there's no easy way of doing it, you just gotta do trial and error really. Right, there we go. Do half his face there. His eye. And then you fill in his eye. He has a little bit of shine in there, like that. And then you do it to the other side. Okay. Once you've got that, you can go over the top of this circle to make his head. And then above his eyebrows, you do his little ears. Which is like a curvy line and then a... That. <laughs> no way of describing that strange shape that he has. And you fill in the inside of the ears. There you go. Oh, he's got quite big ears now. Oh well. And now you're going to finish off his mouth by putting in some nostrils. Not his mouth, sorry, his muzzle. Putting in some nostrils and a cute little smile. And 
this looks nothing like spirit. Oh well. <laughs> this is just a good way of getting a feel for how to draw him. And then you just basically go over the lines you've drawn for his the outline of his body. And you give him his shoulders, his chest and stuff. Now from halfway in the silk crease, I'm gonna bring a curved line out. So that it's in proportion to his body. I can't really say how long that'll be. Depends how big you're drawing him. And then that'll be like that. And that'll be like that'll be his his back, his spine. Because he's lying down at a weird angle. Like you do. Give him his hair. And then going to fill in his little I guess gonna fill it in effectively. And legs. Right, legs. James back to talk to be big and chunky at the top, but this is a horse so it's not gonna be big within reason I guess. And then quite thin and short at the bottom. And that's helped me remember it and it's helped me loads of drawing spirit, even though it's not quite good yet. If I practice and get used to it again. There we go. Mm, you don't need to draw any back legs because it's at that sort of angle where you can't see them. And then you just give him his cute little tail. Maybe a little bit of a flick at the end if you like. And then that's the outline of drawing spirit. And then you can colour him in, shade him in, um, do whatever you like with him. But that's the outline. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked it.